students hope all of you are doing well today we will revise lesson number 6 financial planning you must have learned it in school there was a discussion going on in a family regarding their total income saving and expenditure head of the family father explained it in a tabular form to his wife son and daughter the main purpose of financial planning is protection and the growth of wealth expenses routine expenses like grocery medicines vegetable etc we have predictable and unpredictable expenses as well saving money left after expenditure for future needs this is invested in fixed deposit buying land and gold etc this is called as investment when we plan our expenses and savings it is said to be financial planning now let us look at the importance of savings why do you think savings are necessary because for our own financial security savings for old age for education of children to donate for a social cause for business or to start industry investment are of following types savings account nss the mutual funds shares life insurance policies gold deposits bonds sukanya samruddhi yojana ulips ppf life insurance and senior citizen investment plans are some of the examples now we can look at more points about the investment point number 1 investments in banks or post are preferred as they are very very safe point number 2 there is a little risk in investing money in shares and mutual funds because this money is invested in a business or industry the investor has to suffer a loss of the business if it does not perform well there are two important points to be noted by an investor greater risk greater loss greater risk greater money no risk no gain in this way father has explained investment to his family now students you all must be aware of what savings and investments are you can read and collect more information about it in the next part we will see some of the calculations for the investment